Hey, what's going on, everybody on YouTube? How's everybody doing? I'm doing just fine. I'm doing awesome, actually. So today, welcome back to another tutorial here on the channel. And this tutorial is going to be of this mini castle. All right, so starting from the side here, we have this awesome tower design here that I absolutely love. It has a nice little window over here that you can kind of look out of. And uh, some just hanging little lanterns and flags and banners and all that good stuff. And uh, if we come over to the sides here, we have like leaves and hay just scattered around for little decorations. This side, we've got some windows, just some little under like supports here. And uh, yeah, just a nice little simple design with a chimney over here looking pretty cool. And if we come out to, I guess what would be called the front or the entrance, of this little mini castle. You have this nice little overhang here with this little entry entryway, which looks really, really cool. And if we actually go inside, of course we have some interior to show. So we have a nice little hanging sword, just a nice little sitting area, a little meeting area, some storage off to the side there. And if we go up into the tower, we have a second floor up here where the knights and you know different you know people can sleep. All that good stuff, some storage, hanging swords. And if we go all the way up right here, you can see we have that little window area where we can look out, look at the nice lovely view. If we go all the way up to the top of the tower, you can see that we can every angle of the area. So if we're getting infiltrated over here, we can see it in every direction. All right, so before we get to building this mini castle for today, you wanna make sure that you copy down this layout in your world. Wherever you're gonna build it, make sure it fits. You can use the wool off to the side here to kind of work out the dimensions of the castle. And that's pretty much it. So just copy this down in your world and we can get to building. All right, so now we're going to start by doing the framework for all of the castle here. So. What we want to do is we want to go up seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just like that. Do the same on this corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven. <laughs> and then we're going to go off this top corner right here. And we're going to go up two. And then meet in the middle. Like so. Like that. We'll do it once more. Two blocks over. So two blocks over right here. Go up seven. Bring this over, two blocks up, two blocks up, and then just right across from that, we're gonna go up seven blocks, and we're gonna bring it up two blocks just like so. Now we're gonna go down two blocks, and we're gonna go right here with two stone brick, put one stone brick right here, and build up to this point in that corner, just like so. Once again on this side, two blocks down, Go across with two blocks, go across with two blocks. We'll get to this section in just a second. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Build this up like that. And then build this point right here. Don't build this side up because this is where we actually have to do the tower. So the tower, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so we're at that 13 point right there. And we're going to stack this this block going all the way up. This block going all the way up. And of course, we're going to randomize this later on. But just for simplicity and just for sake of getting this down, we're just going to stack these all the way up to the tippy top here, including this one. So right at this point here, now we can start bringing this up to this top point right here. So right where this roof sort of meets, we can do that now. And then right at this point, just like so, we're going to do that, fill that all in, and then bring it all the way down to where it meets with this block right here, just like that. Now we have a complete tower and it meets with this building right here. Next, we're going to go to the bottom right here and we're going to start off by doing two stone brick, just like so. A stone brick stair right on top of that. We're also going to grab uh, some uh, walls real quick. So let me grab those. There we go. So we're going to grab some walls. 
like this, and we're gonna go with a stone brick just like that. A wall on top of that one. You can leave this one open right here. We're gonna go stone brick and stair, stone brick and then stair, stone brick and stair, really just like that. Two stone brick, just like so, and then stairs on top of that. Then for the fun alley over here, what we're gonna do is put a, a stone brick and a stair, like so. Now, right where these kind of cross over, like this, we're gonna add some upside down stone brick stairs. Then on the other side, we're gonna do the same thing right where these cross, cross sections are, we're gonna add some stone brick stairs, just like that. Then we can go ahead and actually add in some stone brick slabs on either side of this middle beam right here. Next, we're gonna focus on filling in everything. So when you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you wanna leave room for your windows as well. So what I like to do is, is I like to fill in everything with one block. Then I like to go back in and poke out my windows where they're supposed to go. Then I like to add in a little stair in the corner, just like that. Then I'll go back in and add the randomization with the other blocks. And if you want at this stage, you can go ahead and actually add in your windows. I'm going to add them in as I go. So we're gonna jump to this wall right here. We're gonna add our randomization in. Now, when I'm doing my randomization, I'm going to just fill in with one block, just for now, filling in with one block. Then I can go back in and add in all my other blocks. Just like this. So adding in stone and cobblestone mixed in with the andesite. Like that. Next, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to add in the window right at this point. Now, also when you're doing this as well, I'm also going to add a little bit of depth by adding in a little bit of a stair, right? just like that. And then a regular stair like this. Now, make sure to also kind of go into your stone brick as well, adding in some variation, make it blend a little bit with the wall around it. So go ahead and replace some stone brick with some of the other blocks with the cobblestone, whatever that may be. Just a, a few dots here and there. And we're gonna come over to this side. You can choose any block. I'm gonna use andesite, fill it in, leave it a little gap for your window and then just start random, randomizing just like this, using stone, cobblestone, and andesite to randomize. In these corners, I'm gonna replace them with stairs, just to add a little bit more depth. Then go ahead and actually add in your, your windows, just like so. So for this side right here, what I'm going to do is just basically put a stone brick stair right where our door is gonna go, put a block of any any color, any choice, and then put another block and then put another block right there. And there you go. So that's basically how this is gonna go. And then just in the stone brick, just add a little bit of texturing, just all around here like this. And you can even go up here. Yeah, just like that. So when we do the tower, it's gonna randomize as well. And you can even grab a little bit for your window, just like that. All right, so right at this point right here, we're going to add in a little bit of a window. So right at this little ledge, we're gonna go ahead and add in some stone brick stairs, some upside down stone brick stairs, just like that. And then add some trap doors back to back, like so. It's a little tricky to get at first, but once you get it, you're facing the right way as well. And just have some trap doors going like that. Set them up, and there you go. So you got this going for you. We're gonna jump to the top of the tower. We're gonna add an andesite, andesite walls just going around like this. Stonebrick's walls just like this on the bottoms. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in some and polished andesite going around. And then add in some polished andesite stairs just in the middles, leaving a little gap. That. And then we're going to, in the corners, we're gonna add in some stone brick stairs, or stone brick, regular stone brick. And facing inwards, we're going to make our stone brick stairs meet in the middle like this. Kind of have a little bit of some battlement and crenellations going around. 
Then we're going to add some stone brick walls. Next, we're going to add our roof. So we're going to add some slabs on top of this. Actually, you know what's easier? If we add some planks on these first, then we add in our upside down stairs going around like this. And then we have some dark oak slabs in the corners. We replace those planks acting as temporary blocks. And then in the middle, we just add in some slabs like that. So the next thing that we can do is actually go ahead and just add in some buttons right where the stone brick is. There we go. Finally, what we can do is we can go ahead and actually texture the tower. So just go ahead, add in uh, some andesite and also add in some cobblestone wherever you see fit. And this is all up to your creativity and imagination. So just have fun with it and just randomize it uh, to your heart's desire. Whatever you uh, whatever you want to do with it, just go ahead and just randomize all these different blocks. Adding in stone, cobblestone, andesite. And you can even add cracked stone brick as well, which would look pretty nice in this as well. And you could leave it as stone brick. Uh, I just like to leave it. I like to randomize it a little bit more than just having it as stone brick. But you definitely could leave it as stone brick if you're just trying to keep it pretty simple. All right, so next we're going to jump to doing the roof. So the first things first is we're going to have some slabs that go across like this. Some full blocks and stairs. Full blocks, stairs, full blocks, slabs, just like that. Do this on the other side. So slabs going across. All the way full blocks right here there's full blocks there's and full blocks and then a slab just like that then full blocks and then there's that right there next underneath this part right here we're going to have some fence gates and on the other side as well just have some fence gates open just to act as little supports underneath then right underneath these upside down stone brick stairs we're gonna have some dark oak buttons going like this. There we go, acting as like a little a detail. The next thing that we're going to do is actually add in our lovely little overhang here over the door. So we're gonna add a stone brick wall just like this, two andesite walls on top of this, and then our stone brick walls just like that. Have a little bit of some slabs going across just like so, and then some upside down dark oak stairs and a slab right in the middle like that that is pretty much it for this little overhang thing so next we're going to do some exterior detailing so what we want to do is we're going to go over to this spot right here we're going to go a little bit add in a little bit of a a fence just like that slab on top and then add a dark oak slab just like this and then we can add in a little bit of a banner. So just like that, and just having it like kind of dangle in the wind. And then on this side, we're going to do the same thing. So at any level here, you can pretty much just go ahead, add in a little there, just like that. Slab on top, and then a trap door. And right here, we're going to add in a different kind of banner, just a little bit of a variation to the other side. So, you know, we just have two little banners kind of waving in the wind. And then on this side right here, we're going to add in a little bit of a slab. And then we're going to have some fences underneath that. Trap door on top of that. And then a little bit of a lantern dangling down right there to kind of light this little area up. Then we can just add in some random bits of hay. And also some leaves just kind of scattered all around here. Maybe some hay out here, maybe some leaves over here, all up to what you guys want it to look like. I'm going to just add some little bits of hay and leaves just kind of scattered around. You can also add in some barrels wherever you fit. So I'm going to add some barrels right there just to act as little storage. There we go. Next, we're going to add in the chimney area. So what we want to do is basically break out these two blocks. Go one, two, three, four, 
five. And then right on top of that, you're going to add a polished andesite, then some chiseled stone brick, campfire on top of that, tramp, tra tramp door, <laughs> trap doors going around that, and then some buttons on the face of the chiseled stone brick, just like that. There you go, there's your chimney. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you how to clean up your interior here just to kind of add, you know, just to make sure you can add your floors in and just show you where all that stuff goes. You guys can add in all your, um, you know, necessities that you guys need in here for whatever it may be. Um, so for this, all I'm gonna do is have a beam going across just like that. Then I'm going to have some slabs going across. And I think I'm just having some slabs over here as well. Just like that. So that's our first, this is like our first floor, floor force, our first room over here. And then we can also have a slab kind of going in here with a ladder going up. And so that makes for our second floor right here. So what we have to do is we have to build up some of this stone brick like that. And we can actually add in some full blocks here. And then I also have some labs going across like this. So labs going all the way across. And this is sort of like our second floor right here. So uh, what I recommend is adding in some beams going across. So like maybe one beam going like that to act as a little bit of support. And then we have some ladders going up, breaking through there. We can go all the way up here. Now you can use this as like a little room right here. Um, what I just did is I just closed it off just like that. And then I had the ladder going up all the way to this very top like so. So this kind of just act as like its own little room right here. And then what I did is I just had a slabs like this. And then I just grabbed myself a trap door and I put it right there. And I, this, this is acts as its own little ladder. And there you go. So that's just kind of how that works. Oh yeah. And don't forget to finish this off with a nice little barrel and a lantern, just like that. And then also add your front door just like that. And there you go. So that is the build. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little mini castle tutorial. I, I was really having a hard time kind of deciding how to go about doing this because this has been probably one of the most requested things on my channel is do a tutorial of a castle, do a tutorial of a mini castle. And I've always struggled with like the typical castle, the four towers in each corner. Like I've always wanted to do one of those. And this one, I just sort of went with it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And uh, be sure to check out all my other series if you haven't. If you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. Also leave a like on the video if you did enjoy this mini castle tutorial. And that's gonna do it guys. As always, don't forget to be awesome. And I will see you guys next time.